YouTube, what's going on? It is your boy Caleb here, back with a, another unboxing video. Quick, short story. My half inch Milwaukee Impact gave out on me not too long ago, and unfortunately, it was out of the return date. It was out of a warranty date. There was no way of getting it fixed for free. So I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger and upgrade it because doing what I do on a day-to-day, -day, I need a half-inch impact. There's a couple other goodies in here, three specific items that I wanted to get, pick up, all of them, which should be in this box right here. We're gonna get into this real quick, um, but I'm thinking that I'm gonna do an unboxing video specifically for each item. So maybe in this video, you might see all three items. I don't know, maybe, we'll find out. But nonetheless, we need to, open this box and of course I'm never prepared with a knife. All right, so I've had this knife for years. This is a biohazard zombie survival gear knife. I bought this uh, however long ago. I mean, it's definitely been a long time. I actually have an unboxing video on this knife. That's the condition that it is now in. Uh, but nonetheless, it still cuts tape. So let's go ahead and get into this box. I'm excited, man. I'm real excited. goodies okay safety first get rid of the knife uh, they kind of tape the bubble wrap with the box trash uh, but first thing first oh man um, you probably already kind of see that and that goes uh, but the primary thing for this video is gonna be the half inch impact so Without further ado, I'm not gonna try to show the rest. If you wanna see the other two items, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make those other two unboxing videos, um, just so that I can specifically keep each video to one product. Uh, but without further ado, oh my goodness, this is heavy. Oh. Okay. And we'll low key set these other two off to the side. Oh, down you go. But I'm coming from a half inch Milwaukee fuel impact. Uh, and I have decided to upgrade to the snap on. Uh, and as you can tell, maybe by the color right here, we opted for the high vis. They had three different colors available it was the red, the high vis, and or green. And I was kind of thinking, like, man, I've already got some red snap-on tools. Maybe I should mix it up. I do have the, uh, I think it's dark. No, it's gunmetal. Uh, my 3 8 impact is gunmetal. Um, getting back into this, we've got the half-inch snap-on impact. The, the lettering here kind of faded out, but the product number is CT9080. HVK2. So this is a, I guess you could say, uh, highest output uh, impact from Snap On. Um, getting a good look inside here. Kind of the goodies. Very nice. Uh, the first thing we'll might as well pull out is the bad boy itself. A little warm. Oof, man. That is nice. That is nice. I'm assuming it's just the internal. Um, but anyways, getting a closer up look here. What you could expect. Like once again, this is the CT9080 uh, HV. And then... I think it said K2 on here, but on the gun itself or the impact itself, if I can get close enough and if it would focus, 
it says CT9080 HV. HV being high vis. Um, I will say right off the bat, this sucker is heavy. Heavy. But nice nonetheless. Um, I do like this color. It is clean. Kind of already scuffed up right here. Maybe my, my, my might be hard to tell on camera, but kind of scuffed up right there. But that's okay. This gun's going to get uh, a lot of use regardless. So setting this off to the side, I went ahead and opted for the whole package for the half inch uh, impact. So that will come with the uh, charging dock, which I already have one of these for my 3 8 impact, but I decided to get another one for the half inch impact. It's the exact same thing, the exact same thing you could expect from Snap-on whenever you buy, whether it's a 3H, a 3H, a 3 8 impact, or even the half inch. So, same thing here. If you've seen my other unboxing video, you've already seen this. So, we're going to pack everything back up because I will be taking it to work tomorrow, as I do have to work tomorrow, and I'm glad that this came in on my day off because I've been borrowing other technicians' impacts for the past week and uh, maybe even a little bit longer. But regardless, it kind of sucks. And I'm glad that I finally have this in my possession. Now, I will say one of the things that I opted for was the upgraded 18 volt batteries. Um, this is the 18 volt five amp lithium ion battery from Snap-on. And uh, it, this is different than what I currently have. I have the, I guess, older version, you could say, or less beefier version. Uh, but nonetheless, low battery on this guy already. Uh, if you want the battery indicator, there's a little indicator button right there. You just press it, and it'll tell you how much battery is on, or how much charge is on the battery. But... Yeah, this is a lot different, so I'm wondering how much more output I'll be getting um, just from using the slightly upgraded battery alone, but I don't know. We'll find out. But yeah, that's pretty much it, and then obviously um, when you buy the whole like set, it comes with two, so we got two of the 18-volt 5-amp lithium-ion batteries, and these are nice. I do like these a lot more over the... Uh, other ones I would try to show you. Maybe I might make a video. I actually plan on making a video of the best way to set up a power drawer because I have a 55 inch and the power drawer is not the largest. And I have another snap on uh, charging dock going in there. And I'm going to have a, another charging unit in there for uh, another product that I bought that you'll see in an upcoming video. But nonetheless, Let's go ahead and just slide this guy on because this is the true test right here. All right, so with the gun, it automatically sets the breakaway and the torquing to max. You can see that here. Um, as I hit the button, it'll go green. That means it is uh, breaking. And then I can switch it, the power modes, with this button right here. Very nice, love that about Snap-on. Um, and then if I want to tighten, switch it over and it changes it to red and I can change it there as well. Very nice. Um, oh, wow, dude, okay. Right off the bat, I love these batteries way more because the other ones have the uh, clamp that you have to like to disengage the battery up top. And that sometimes can be a pain to get off. But with this, it's got the clamps on the sides, which get a closer look there. So it makes for easy removal. That is that is 10 times easier than the other battery style that's got the uh, disengage button at the top. I like this a lot more. It This just looks like an overall freaking beauty. Um, might I mention this will be the cleanest it'll ever be uh, because it's gonna get used a lot. And yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. You got the super bright light up front to help you see, I guess, if you're kind of working in the dark. I don't advise that you work in the dark while working on vehicles, but 
nonetheless, it's got a light right up front. So whenever you're using this guy, uh, you can see exactly what you're doing. So very nice. This is brushless, um, which is also very nice. My Milwaukee was brushless. Um, but besides the point, uh, I am very happy to finally have one of these. And yeah, this color is sick, but we'll do uh, one more look around on the tool itself. A little back profile, another side profile, and then the front. This is the Snap-on half inch impact wrench model number CT9080. HV, HV being the color, high viz. This is the top of the line half inch impact that you can get from Snap On. So I'm expecting this to last me a very long time. Obviously, I try to take as much care of my tools as possible. So the nice thing that I need to mention before I let you guys go is with the Snap On impacts and the batteries, they offer a two year warranty on both the batteries and the impact itself. So hopefully if anything goes wrong, it goes wrong within those two years because I do not want to have to shell out even more money than I already have with this damn company. But man, do I love them. But that's pretty much it for me on this unboxing. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to leave a like, comment if you have any questions, comments, concerns. If you want to know anything, I'm more than happy to go into the comment section and, and chat with y'all. Um, and share this video with your friends. You know, maybe your friends are thinking about picking up a uh, Snap-on half inch and uh, they want to see it. They want to really see it. Uh, it's been hard to really kind of find videos on this impact uh, wrench alone. And I'm trying to be the first to, you know, really show you how nice this, this impact is. Uh, it may have came in a little scuffed, but it's not the worst. It's not anything super bad. Um, but nonetheless, I mean, dude, this thing's beautiful. I mean, come on. Um, yeah, but that's going to be it. Once again, appreciate you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, it's free. Why not stay up to date with the latest videos that I do intend to upload, such as more unboxing videos like this, more car videos, working on cars, that kind of thing. If that's the stuff that you're into, don't hesitate. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. It's very much appreciated. It keeps me going. And with that said, I appreciate you all very much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.